Hey guys, I'm Codius, and today I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak your iOS device running iOS 8.1.3 to 8.3 using either the TIG or TIG jailbreak tool or the PP jailbreak tool. Anyway, let's get started. So to jailbreak your iOS device, you're going to need to download a few things. First of which is the jailbreak utility of your choice, depending on what operating system you're running. If you're running Windows, then you're going to want to use TIG or TIG jailbreak. The link for that can be found in the description, as is with everything else that I mentioned that you're going to be able to download. And this is for if you're on Windows. Uh, if you're not on Windows, you're going to need to use the PP jailbreak tool. Uh, there is a slight issue, if, or I'm sorry, if you're on Mac, you're going to be able if you're on Mac, then you're going to need to use the PP jailbreak tool. There's just there's a little bit of salt between Taiji and PP. I've seen on Twitter, they're like, here's some comparisons of. Anyway, Taiji thinks or they say that PP they stole their stuff, which I it looks like they did actually. But unfortunately, uh, it's the only option if you're going to need to do this on a Mac. But if you can, definitely do it on a Windows. Support Taiji because they're really awesome. Uh, anyway, so download this. Um, I'm going to use, what did I get? I went ahead and got the beta tool. You can get whatever other tool that you want. Um, but anyway, so once you've chose one of those, uh, you can move on. Next thing you're going to need is iTunes. So this is kind of an obvious one. If you've got an iPhone or whatever device, um, you're going to need this to back up all of your stuff just to make sure nothing gets broken. And next, you're going to need the appropriate cable to connect your iDevice. So in my case, I'm jailbreaking an iPad mini, and I'm not sure which version or uh, edition it is, but it's just an iPad mini. Uh, and you're going to need the lightning cable for it and plug that into your computer. Lastly, you're going to need an iDevice running firmware versions 8.1.3 to 8.4. And you can check what firmware you're running by going to the settings app, general, about, and then you can scroll down to where it says version. The next to that, it'll say your version. Currently, I'm going to be jailbreaking a iPad mini running iOS 8.2. You could be running within any of those versions. It should all work. All right, so the next thing that you're going to want to do is plug in your phone or whatever you're jailbreaking here. This is the iPad mini. I've got it set up in this case thing. But it is plugged in via the appropriate cable to my computer. And we have iTunes up and installed. So actually... If it if you hadn't guessed already, you're downloading these programs to install them. I'm not sure why you wouldn't, but anyway, so here it is. Uh, you're gonna go up here and click on your iPad or whatever device it should show up, and there. Then go down and then do to the backups, and then you're going to want to back this up. Actually, just because while this is technically a mod, you're like modding your iPad, the file system, or sorry, iOS devices file system. You're going to want to back it up, and it's a slim chance of you actually messing something up. It's very hard to do, but uh, just in case it does, it's always safe to have a backup. So anyway, go down, click Backup Now. Um, but once that's done, then we can continue with the process of jailbreaking. All right, so now it's done, and what we're going to do is don't completely close out Windows. We're going to want to keep it somewhat open, just sort of over here. Then you're going to go and find your .zip file for your TIG jailbreak. This is going to be different for if you're using the PP jailbreak. should be pretty self-explanatory to get it up and running, though. So I'm just going to open that. Let it through your antivirus. It'll load. All right, guys. So I have an interesting issue here that is outlined on their site. Uh, when I try to open this, uh, it says, Apple driver's not found. Please install iTunes. But clearly, I have iTunes here. Um, so what we're going to do, it gives you a link here, and I went ahead and translated this in uh, Google Translate because uh, it's all in Chinese. But um, it says, case two, what can happen is if you have iTunes version 12.1 uh, installed but suggests no Apple drivers, then download the driver package here. I'm going to do that, internet willing. So it should take a minute if you have a half-decent connection, unlike me. But anyway, guys, so once you get that sorted out, if you have the same problem as me, then you can go ahead and continue with this process. 
Alright guys, so I just got that issue fixed. It works fine now. I just needed those drivers. So if you have that same problem, go ahead and download those in the link in the description. Or if you get the error, it'll just give you the link. So anyway, I just launched it up again, just like I did before. And we get it, recognizes it as my iPad mini. Alright, so first of all, what you're going to need to do is, uh, on the jailbreak thing, uncheck 3K Assistant. Just, you don't need it. It's kind of like, it's like bloatware, except for jailbreak. Anyway, so go to your iPad, open it up. Then what you're going to do is go to settings, um, iCloud. Okay, so we're not, we don't have find my iPhone on on this or find my iDevice, but if you have that, you're going to need to go to iCloud, scroll to the bottom, and then tap uh, find my iPhone and then disable it for this. Okay, so we have it backed up. All the requirements met. Also, you're going to need your password to be off of your device. That's right. So just disable your passcode. You can turn it back on later. And then once you've done all that, you can go ahead and go back to the application and click start. So it's jailbreaking. It says start. Data processing. It's restarting the device on its own, as you can see on the screen there. Alright guys, so during the jailbreak, your device is going to restart several, several times, uh, like more than, I'm on th my fourth reboot, I think, right now, uh, and basically iTunes is going to want to pop up and stuff. You're just going to minimize it, ignore anything, don't try to change anything at all, uh, because you could mess something up, and you really don't want that at this point. So I'm going to just leave it alone, and I'll get back to you guys when the jailbreak is done. Alright guys, so now the jailbreak is finished. It does say, jailbreak su succeeded, thank you for using the Taiji jailbreak. Please enjoy your jailbroken device now. And if we look at the iPad, it seems to be in a reboot phase once again. And in a moment when it boots up, we'll dive right into it. And I will show you that we do indeed have a jailbroken device. The Taiji jailbreak tool successfully identified this iPad as jailbroken right here. So this entire thing was successful. Now if we look back on the camera over here, uh, it's open, we can open the device, and then if we scroll over, we do have Cydia. And if you don't know anything about jailbreaking, Cydia is like the app store, sort of, where you get all of your jailbreak stuff. So, initially, what you're always going to do when you have a brand new jailbroken device is tap that open. Take a moment to load. And then it'll say preparing file system. So basically what you're going to do, you're going to want to wait until this is finished to actually do anything. Uh, because it'll only have to do this once. Uh, but then City will exit and then you can start using it and installing stuff and adding sources. And by the way guys, while I'm on that note, um, I'm actually going to be, why I'm doing this video is because I'm going to have more jailbreak content in the future. And I've, I mean, I've been jailbreaking for a long time since iOS 5 or 6 actually. Um, and uh, I really enjoy the customization that it brings and so I wanted to have some videos on some things that I figured out that aren't otherwise documented and uh, if you want to see stuff like that especially please leave a like and uh, I'll make sure to help make it happen it looks like that it resprung and then uh, now we have Cydia and so what you can do basically you can go through here uh, and you can do you can search through things you can get themes you can get tweaks and I'll be doing videos on that this video specifically will not cover it that's basically it. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this, please drop a like. And if you want to stay updated, subscribe. Also, if you want to see more awesome content from other YouTubers like myself, go and check out FinalEffectsStudios.com, my sort of affiliate website uh, that I actually started. And uh, we've got some pretty awesome people on there doing different stuff like gaming. We've got a guy who's really big into Legos and he's amazing at building stuff like that. We possibly in the future have some short films coming up on our official channel from Flying Gooba Gaming. That should be awesome. And uh, anyway, guys, yeah, that's about it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye. Yeah.